Hey guys, Sherry Ann Richardson from Exotic Gardening, Experimental Homesteader, SherryAnnRichardson.com and BiannualBlogathonBadge.com and welcome to our daily vlog. I wanted to share with you um, some of my vintage Halloween decorations that I have lighted up tonight. Um, this is the first time that I've had these actually lighted up and they are totally awesome. The two jack-o'-lanterns right here are original. Uh, they are paper, and that is the original insets that came with them. The uh, noisemakers you see are also vintage. Now, not everything is, but a number of these items are indeed vintage. Um, all of the noisemakers are. Uh, we know that Jack there is not, um, and this cat is not, but these noisemakers are. And so I just wanted to share with you because this is just, I love, love, love this display and how cool these look. And if you give me a minute, I will step back and turn the light on so that you can see these in daylight. Um, this is one, one of the noisemakers. Look at that artwork, absolutely cool. Um, this is another one of the noisemakers. Let me get it here. Um, I'm not sure how old the noisemakers are. Um, I do know that they are vintage. Um, I'm new enough to collecting vintage Halloween that I'm not super knowledgeable about things as far as dates and stuff. But all of these are old. And um, so are the napkins. The napkins are, I want to say 1923, but that may be wrong. They're definitely 1920-something. Um... Super cute. Like I said, uh, Jack and obviously the cat are new. Um, the books underneath are new. But this, I believe, is a 1940 or 1950. Um, the noisemaker above is an older one. And then there's two noisemakers back there. Um, I don't have a date on this particular cat. I know that it is in my book and the cat comes in black and orange both. Uh, several people in the Halloween Collector Society had said they had not seen an orange one. So I may have one of the rarer collars, um, another noisemaker. And um, I'm not sure about the ghost back there, if that ghost is actually vintage or not, but I know the little plastic witch candy maker is vintage. And then the two candles are girly, and I hope I said that right. And the decorations are bestial, which again, I hope I said that right. Um, this is kind of what the display looks like if you step back. And like I said, super, super cool, especially when it is um, lit up and dark. Now, I do have a few other items. Um, these are not vintage, but more vintage look, except for, um, I'm not sure about the postcard, how old that is, and I'm not sure about this thermometer over here. But the other pieces, um, this big cat and all of the inserts I get at Michael's, and this stuff is actually glow in the dark. Um, I also picked this up at Michael's. And then some different cats and things that I've picked up along the way. Um, the four little lanterns there came from Pier 1. And, of course, I've got a scarf here. I've got this uh, little decoration here. Now, this pumpkin, this sequin pumpkin bag, we don't really know anything about. Um, it was bought at the same sale 
with the vintage noise makers and stuff. So it may or may not be vintage. Um, I don't know. I'm guessing probably not, but we just, we really don't know anything about it other than there it was with um, some of the vintage items that uh, were up here. And I just feel very, very lucky to have this collection of items. Um, my goal is to get more vintage Halloween, especially these uh, paper mache jack-o'-lanterns. I would like to get more of those and continue to add to the collection and the noisemakers and anything else that is really, really old and Halloween related, except I really don't like any of the devil ones. Um, I know that I have one down here but that's because those came as four in a set and that's the way I purchased them otherwise I would have probably left that one out I like the cats and the jack-o-lanterns and things like that so anyway guys uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing the vintage Halloween collection and seeing these guys lit up I'm gonna turn the light off one more time just for effect um, so you can get a really good look at how cool these are Please subscribe, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment below. Um, thanks for watching and have a great night, guys.